Alright, so this is a Cobra I found on Marketplace. Um, picked it up $6,500. Um, drove all the way to Kyle, Texas to get it. Couldn't get nobody to ride with me, so long ride by yourself. Um, I got down there. Um, the car is a 60, had a 60E in it. Uh, still had the IRS. He had sold the Cobra bumpers off of it. Um, still had the tail lights and the airbag. The seats were gone. Um, Beanham shifter in it. Clean interior. Um, I had it, I don't know, three, three weeks or so. Um, took the IRS out, sold it. Got an 8 8 with uh, 31 spine axles, 410 gears. Uh, I did the tubular upper and lower control arms, Team Z drag springs, KYB adjustables. Uh, I did a TH400. The 60E after I'd done the rear end swap went out, uh, blew it up. Uh, we all know how those are. Um, so I put a TH400 in it with a 3500 stall. Used the same B&M shifter uh, right here. I bought a Cobra hood for it for 200 bucks. Turned around and traded it for a cow hood. Uh, so one of my buddies up in Arkansas um, had a four inch cow hood. He wanted a Cobra hood. I met him halfway. Um, that hood is not in the, any of the pictures. My buddy actually had a bubble hood and I wanted it so we swapped. Um, I took the valve curves off, painted them. There's my sister's gender reveal. Uh, here's a clip of me with the IRS out um, and then putting the 88 in. You could feel a big difference in the 88 swap. It's nice. Um, it's got tubular K member in it. Uh, let's see. 60, it's got a 614, 635 comp cam. Um, Anyways, um, I was just going to spray the car, and then I ended up finding a hot side on Facebook for 300 from an F-body, uh, and I had to reweld the passenger side hot side. I got it all to work. Um, this is drag pack I pick up for it, some other parts, a couple pictures coming up of the car. Um... It is a 78 millimeter turbo. Um, I cut the front end up, did s some scooting the radiator back and stuff like that. Um, got some seats for 150 on Marketplace, threw them in. Uh, but that's pretty much it on the car. I've had it about six or seven months. The old car I had, the black one, got stolen. That's why you don't see any videos on it. Um, that's this new car here. Um, it's either going to get painted grabber blue or plum crazy purple. I haven't decided yet. Um, my phone cut out on me, but anyways, um, it's going to get tuned, um, next Saturday. Uh, let's see, it's got a manual rack in, in it that I put in it, uh, I took the power steering out, cut the bracket, freed some room up. Uh, it's got four solutions, um, 1200 horsepower pumps in it. It's got TSP 8850 CC injectors, um, running E85 in the car. Um, but yeah, it's gonna uh, have dyno pools and i'm gonna do a little walk around and stuff for the car i haven't really showed this car at all so, um this is just a slideshow pretty much when i got it going through all the way up to the turbo stuff um but as soon as the trains went out i just once i seen that hot side i was just like yeah let's just go ahead and get it and get this over with um threw these wheels on it and they look pretty good i'm gonna have them powder coated um, I'm getting Cobra front and rear bumpers, uh, drag wing off the rear, um, but that's going to be it. Just stay tuned for the dyno pools and walk-arounds. 
it's going to be good once it gets tuned. First start was a success. Um, that was only running off of one pump. It'd be running off of both pumps. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of power it's going to make. Uh, I'm hoping for at least 700. My buddies are saying it's going to make around 8 or so. So we'll find out. But thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see in the car or what I should do. What's the pumps looking like? Y'all ready?